Here's my full extensive review on the Hamilton Beach 40898. Some of you might be looking at it on Amazon.com. That is where I purchased mine. Um, here is the deposit filter. As you can see on the side here, it already broke. And it's just been a few days. I called them up and uh, they said that we replace it. Um, it has to be the whole lid. Um, but let me go ahead and talk about the unit itself and show you how it works and show you um, some of the pros and cons of it. So here it is, um, the unit itself. It has uh, the base here where um, it heats it up um, on the bottom here. Uh, it just goes right on top. Um, goes on there perfectly. And uh, this is the lid here. You can see that you have to push it in to release it. Let me show you how it goes in. Um, it just goes right on top here. You just slide it in and then it'll just pop right in just like that and so you'll just this button here you just press that in as you as you push it down and then it'll lock in place and it'll be good to go uh, it does say here that it's cool to the touch because of the double wall stainless steel uh, steel but uh, let me tell you that it is not really cool to the touch it's more of warm to hot um, right after it starts boiling it's still warm to the touch but after it's been boiling for about a minute it still is um, uh, well actually it's really hot then um, after holding your hand to it for I would say like five seconds you're gonna get burnt probably um, you know I, I bought because I have a, a daughter and uh, you don't know when she can you know, she's gonna be touching it and I don't want her to be touching something that's hot so it's still is hot. Um, well, let me show you how this lid comes off then. You just pop that up and then you push that button in on the middle and it slides right back up. Easy as that. Uh, you know it's not the most stylish um, one that I've seen. I know the Cuisinart one looks a lot better and you can have the settings on it um, for a certain temperature but nonetheless it's, it's good. So let me go ahead and fill it up and show you but also you can see that there's a max line there so just know that uh, you cannot fill it up as as uh, as far as it can go because it'll boil over of course but so uh, as far as uh, the usable water in it is not as uh, as much as what they say I think it's uh, 64 ounces but it's gonna be less than that just so you know so let me go ahead and fill this up to that max line And then I'll show you how this is. Okay. So I'll go ahead and put that on there. Turn it on. The button on this on the bottom here, you just push it down. You can see that it has a green light. So let me go ahead and put this on. Close it. Oops. Sorry about that. Um so you'll probably end up hearing a little bit of it starting to go. Um, and uh, I, I noticed that once I turn it on, if the water is cold and I put it in, it'll be, um, uh, it'll probably take like four minutes to boil. So uh, you'll have to wait a little bit, but it's still, still really fast considering. And then it does turn off automatically. I haven't had any any issue with it after it starts boiling. It probably after I would say uh, like 20 seconds or so, it'll automatically shut off. But they they say that uh, you should um, empty it after each use and rinse it out to avoid the the lime um, deposit buildup within it. So, um, like I said, it, it is really hot when it starts to boil. It's starting to work right now. Um, you don't exactly have to, to, to see it on. Let me open that up. So to see some of the bubbles from it. Um, there you have it. Uh, you know, nothing really else to it. Nothing too fancy with it. Uh, of course, this is plastic, and the lid is, is plastic. 
And uh, they, they did say, though, with how hot